Hi, it's David Brower, The Sensorial Guy, and today I'm going to share with you the five lessons ambitious entrepreneurs and executives learn in life too late. Yeah, I know, it would have been better if I was juggling five balls, but not quite there yet. Firstly, the dynamic life balancing is completely underrated. The ability to be able to find the dynamic balance in your life and your relationships is everything. If you're able to constantly readjust and fine tune and focus on that, it changes dramatically the quality of your life. For me, cooking's the ultimate metaphor. The dosage, the amounts, the balance of the spicy, salty, sugary, sweet, bitter, coming up and using all these contrasts, these different facets, to come up with something that's absolutely magnificent. And every dish, at every meal, has a different balance, it's a dynamic balance. But if you use too much salt, without focusing on your life balance, you risk having problems in your life. At one point in my career, I got so caught up in it that I wasn't even present outside of it. At the theater, at dinner, in the intimate conversations, I was elsewhere, I was missing out on, on life, on my life and it led to making a really bad investment decision at some point because it wasn't listening to the people around me. And life balance demands the second thing, which is conscious self-awareness. This is the integrity of you when you look in the mirror. This is knowing when you've lost yourself. It's the honesty to say something is off, I need to course correct, and not letting things go so far on one area of your life that it takes so much effort to bring it back. Conscious self-awareness is a choice. It's a discipline, it's a practice. It's a way of being and living in the world. And you can learn it. But you can't be consciously self-aware unless you have the third lesson, which is presence. The art of focusing your awareness, your concentration, to where you are, where you find yourself. The be here now. And that's the tool, that's the mechanism, that's the way to be actually very conscious of what's going on, where you are. Appreciation. For without presence, you can't appreciate what you're experiencing, including through your senses. Appreciation is a demonstration that someone is significant to you. It shows them that you feel them, sense them, hear them, recognize them that you allow them the light to shine and that you're giving them attention. This is about the real basis of connection is appreciation. And appreciation is the basis for savoring of life. That the voyage is the destination. So how do we appreciate it as deeply, as richly, as wonderfully, as colorfully as possible? Appreciation gives meaning to our lives. What you appreciate appreciates. And appreciation leads to the next lesson, meaningful conversation. Once you have all of these lessons lined up, you get to the juice of the matter. In your relationships at home, you're able to have the kinds of conversations that lead to better decisions. So you don't screw things up. It leads to more enriching and enjoyable and open conversations, which is the stuff of life. This way you can actually get through way more easily with less effort and more grace, more elegance if you wish, and more effectiveness to have the conversations that are easy, hard, and very difficult. And it's all about the way that you communicate with each other. We can say anything to each other. It's in how we say it to each other that makes all the difference. If you're not having meaningful conversations in your life, you're gonna run into problems big time. Meaningful conversation clears out the misperceptions, the confusions, the misinterpretations, the misunderstandings between you. It's not about always agreeing, but it's about having the conversations in a meaningful way. So I hope you like this video. I gotta go have lunch because I'm living the balanced life and I'm not gonna miss lunch for this. <laughs> bon appetit, enjoy your meal. It's intended to be a break.